Hello friends, I am Dr. Chandan Bora. In this video, we will cover meaning and definition of accounting. Learning objectives of this video. Introduction of accounting. Historical review of accounting. Meaning and definition of accounting. Every business started with certain aims. The aim of business is making profit. But while making profit, sometimes businessmen incur losses too. To make profit, businessmen need to trade. Trade means buy and sell. Every businessman wants to know how much money coming in the business and going out of the business. He wants to know sales of the business and purchases of the business for a particular period of time. He wants to know assets of the business and liabilities of the business for certain dates and so on. To know all these things, he needs to record all events and transactions of the business for a particular period of time. The process of keeping record of every rupee is known as accounting. Salary earners received salary and they record the expenses made out of that. Businessmen used to record all events and transactions related with their business to know their financial position. Professionals used to record receipts and payments, income and expenses made by them. Companies used to record all the transactions and events happened during the course of their business. NGOs also records the transactions of charity received and expenses made out of that. Governments also record the transactions of taxes received and other receipts as well as expenses made by them. Now question arises, why to maintain accounts? The reasons are, Everybody wants to keep records of all transactions and events which happen during the course of time. Human memory is short, hence needs to record these transactions in written form so that we cannot forget any transaction. Adequate information is needed for short term as well as long term decision making. Necessary to know financial position of the business, what are our assets, what are our liabilities, what are the income sources, what are the expenses incurred during the course of time. Every businessman wants to know and that's why we need to maintain account. The growth of accounting discipline is closely associated with the development of the business world. The aim of accounting is to meet the information needs of the rational and sound decision makers and thus accounting is called as the language of the business. Accounting enjoys a remarkable heritage. The history of accounting is as old as human civilization. In Hindu mythology, Chitragupta works as an accountant or record keeper for the God. He keeps record of every human being and his karma during his lifetime on the earth in term of pap and punya that is good deeds and sin as unit of measurement. It is believed in Hindu mythology that everyone has to face a trial after death where Chitragupta presents the account of his pap and punya and on the basis of that narka or swarga that is hell or heaven is awarded. It is evident from the history that in Babylonia and Egypt around 4000 BC there were procedures to record transactions of payment of wages and taxes on clay tablets. Historical evidences reveals that Egyptians used some form of accounting for their treasuries where gold and other valuables were kept. Romans used memorandum or day book to record receipts and payments and then posted to the ledger on monthly basis. 
China used sophisticated form of government accounting as early as 2000 BC. Accounting practices in India could be traced back to period when 23 centuries ago, Kautilya, a minister in Chandragupta's kingdom, wrote a book named Arthashastra describing how accounting records are to be maintained. Modern days accounting is known as double entry bookkeeping system. This bookkeeping system is invented by Italian mathematician Luca Piscioli. He wrote his paper in the year 1494. The paper was Summa de Arithmetica Geometria Proportioni et Proportionalita. In English, it is known as Everything About Arithmetic, Geometry and Proportion. This paper described double entry bookkeeping system that for every credit there must be a corresponding debit. Hence, he is called as father of double entry bookkeeping system. In his paper, he introduced the term debit and credit. Word debit comes from Italian word debito or Latin word debta and debio meaning owed to proprietor. The word credit comes from Italian word credito or Latin word credo which means trust on proprietor. The Committee on Terminology set up by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants formulated the following definition of accounting in 1961. Accounting is the art of recording, classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in term of money, transactions and events which are in part at least of a financial character and interpreting the result thereof. The definition talks about some of the important aspects of accounting. Accounting is an art of recording transaction. Process of accounting starts with identifying the events and transactions. Need of suitable classification of events and transaction is necessary for proper accounting. Summarization of events and transactions for ready references and for decision making of the business. The American Accounting Association in 1966, which treated accounting as the process of identifying, measuring and communicating economic information to permit informed judgments and decisions by the users of accounts. As scale of business is changing, there is a need to change definition of accounting too. As company form of organization came into existence, there is a separation of ownership and management. Accounts need to be communicated to the stakeholders. Investors want to know financial position of the company. Stakeholders can take judgment on the basis of financial position of the company. Hence, the given definition covers some of the most important aspects of modern day accounting that is communicating accounts to the stakeholders. In 1970, the Accounting Principles Board of American Institute of Certified Public Accountants enumerated the functions of accounting as follows. The function of accounting is to provide quantitative information primarily of financial nature about economic entities that is needed to be useful in making economic decisions. This definition talks about functions of accounting. Mainly, it talks about quantitative information provided by accounting and its usefulness in making economic decisions. In simple words, accounting can be defined as the skill or practice of maintaining accounts and preparing reports to aid the financial control and management of business. To get videos related with commerce, 
you can subscribe our YouTube channel by clicking on subscribe button. At the same time, you can click on bell icon to get notifications. Thank you very much. You can send your queries as well as suggestions in comment box.